Good morning. We are going to White Sands National Park today. And it's a gloomy day right now. Uh, kind of cloudy, but it is supposed to get sunny later on. I could see the clouds parting a little bit in the distance there. It's almost nine o'clock. The park actually opens at 7 a.m. But since, you know, it was cloudy this morning and drizzling a little bit, we just decided to take our time, have some breakfast, and um, head out now. We're excited to do some sledding down the little dunes there and hopefully Kuma can join us too. I don't know how much she's gonna freak out or not freak out. <laughs> yeah, because it's pet friendly. So we're yeah. excited that this national park actually allows pets. A lot of national parks, it's, they keep it pretty limited um, to where you can take your pets. But this one, they didn't really have any, we didn't see any restrictions. So hopefully she can come sledding with us. To get a sled, you can bring your own sled to go down these dunes, but the visitor center also provides sleds for a fee of course i think it was around twenty dollars we'll find out when we get there it's not bad yeah we can just share anyway yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's kind of like renting a sled yeah. um and i didn't we could have bought one beforehand of course at like walmart or something but i didn't want to just carry that in our uh, car the whole time because yeah. we're already kind of packed with all our luggage since we are doing a cross-country road trip. She lives in Florida. I live in California. I mean, we, we never really see snow, so <laughs> there's yeah, no really... are we ever going to use a sled again? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm totally fine with paying the fee. Yeah, me too. I forgot how much the fee was to get into the park, but this year I decided to get the national annual National Park Pass, which is about 80 bucks. Um, so, you know, if you go to like three or four, four or five parks, probably, it'll cover the cost. Um, and on this trip, we're going to two national parks. So I'm already like halfway there. And I figured, you know what, I might go to more national parks or maybe this will push me to go to more national parks and then make up my money for that. And plus, I don't mind, you know, giving back to the park anyway, because I do appreciate their service and I appreciate that we get to enjoy these parks. destination is on your left. Oh, look at this little cute visitor center. <laughs> All right. So we're here. Uh, we're going to go to the visitor center and find out about that sled. And also I need to park my park pass because I bought it on REI.com, R-E-I.com. <laughs> but uh, they forgot to punch a hole in it. They're supposed to punch a hole where um, you know the date the month starts but they forgot to do it so they're like oh you can just go to any visitor center and do it so I was like okay I got my sled and my wax yep there you go sled and <laughs> wax so a used one is $15 and then um, the $1. wax 99. was yeah about two bucks and so the gift shop this is where you get the sled it's not open until 9 a.m. so I'm glad we actually came later because we wanted to get this first before we went inside. All right, we got our sled. We're ready to go to the fee station so we can punch my card because they weren't able to do that at the visitor center. So the visitor center looks like they have like a gift shop and a little museum and I believe you can watch a video too. Yeah, there was a little video area, which might be kind of interesting mm -hmm. to watch. Just says dogs on leash at all times. No drinking. <laughs> I mean, no alcohol, yeah. And there's no water available, so you have to get at the visitor center if you want water. Fee is usually $25. And they gave me like this nice tag that you can put on your car to just hang it up. Hi, thank you. So I got this annual pass on REI.com and they forgot to punch a hole in it. Thank you. That. It says park closes at 6 p.m. So most likely what we're going to do is check out the area right now, do some sledding, um, just kind of scope it out, and then we'll probably be back at like sunset time yeah. because we've heard that the sunset is gorgeous around here. There is a couple of, a few trails. There's a Dune Life Nature Trail, Playa Trail, Inner Dune Boardwalk, some kind of group use area, amphitheater, Alcali, or how do you say that, flat trail, and then there's a camping area. So it's a fairly small park, I would say. So it looks like you kind of drive, you keep going straight, uh, 
for about six miles. If you want to keep going, you can go six miles and then um, the loop is about, looks like two miles and then it takes you back and then you drive back six miles. So it's like, go straight and then there's like a small loop and then you come back. I believe like once you see some sand dunes you can, or like people sweating, yeah. you can just stop over anywhere and do it. It says, gypsum dunes are firmer and cooler than other types of dunes. Many people enjoy sledding on these unusual dunes. Yeah, so I'm hoping since the sand is more dense, that it'll be easier to walk on because when we went to Valley of Fire State Park, a lot of the trails were all sand and that was really tough to walk in. They were pretty easy trails, but wow, the sand made it so much harder. Um, yeah. So it's good to wear boots, so we both wore boots. Pictures online, I see a lot of people, they just go barefoot when they're sledding. Oh. I noticed them, I noticed them, but it's like they're wearing summer clothes. Okay. So it's like, well, I don't, I don't know if people really do that in yeah. the winter. We are, <laughs> we are in the winter time, so. There's a Dune Life Nature Trail. We just tra passed another trail right there. Okay, so a couple yeah. trails we passed by, but I've kind of seen like reviews of those and they don't seem too interesting, so we're just gonna keep on going. Yeah, it does look like snow though. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're driving through snow. I think the more we drive, the more dramatic the landscape will get, because now it's starting to narrow in. We'll see if we're having more sand dunes near us. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, this looks so cool. I think I'll just wait. Okay, so I think we're gonna stop here at the Alkali flat trail area. Try to go sledding here. These are, uh, this is fine sand. In some spots, but other spots, it's like dense sand. Candy's gonna find a good sled spot. It's kind of flat right here. Yeah, well, I think I you have to right go here. down that way. Yeah. It's like a lot of work just going up. Yeah. Doing one sled. Candy's scrubbing it down with that wax. Yeah. Getting it real nice and slippery. How you doing, Kuma? Looks like there's a path here. I even, oh, you hold on the sides. Yeah. Okay, Kuma, you wanna come on with me? She's like, no, I just wanna play with the sand. Playing with the sand is cool. <laughs> you don't wanna go sledding, Kuma? <laughs> What's in there? What are you doing? So here I go, I'm gonna go down this thing. If I won't even like move. <laughs> more, more like, how do I move? <laughs> Bye! Kuma, Kuma's trying to follow you, she gave up. up is a struggle. <laughs> she loves going down, running down the hill. It's so cute. All right, so we just did some sledding and it was a lot of fun, but also a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of work. It's tiring, but a good yeah. workout. It's really bright right now, so I'm having trouble seeing. Like once the sun comes out, all that reflection from the white sun like hits you right mm -hmm. in the eyes. <laughs> So good thing to have sunglasses here. Some clouds came in a few times, mm -hmm. so that was nice. But it does get pretty warm yes. once you're moving around and sledding. So um, actually really nice weather right now. It is. I definitely don't need the coat right now. I mean, even this is a little warm right now. Yeah. It's like, what, 60 something right now? Oh, I don't have my weather up, but yeah, it's probably like in the low 60s and yeah, it feels great. 62. It feels really great right now. It's like the perfect weather for this kind of thing. Yeah. So yes, this is the Alkali Flat Trail. Uh, it says this trail is not flat, exclamation point. <laughs> um, but it's five miles looped, which is about three hours. You need to take caution and make sure you keep track of your landmarks. Just be aware. 
Okay, so we're on the Alkali Flats Trail now. This is the one that I read about where it's the best trail to do. If you want to get like those nice pictures or a view of like the untouched sand, the more further down you walk, the, the less footprints. Is yeah, the less see. footprints. So we got Kuma with us. She is Ms. ready Kuma. to go here. And we're gonna, they have to be leashed. Yes, so. make sure she is leashed. She has a fancy new set now. She has a nice now. bandolier. Nice bandolier. Look at this. Look at you fancy girl. Now we're all matching. Bandolier, yeah, bandolier. We all have bandoliers now. now. we all have bandolier. Look at all that. It's a lot of dunes. Yeah. Look yeah, over there. That looks crazy where it goes like, straight down. I love like the mountain view. Yeah. Just have to make sure. You look at the landmarks, see where you're going. But they have markers. They have markers throughout the trail, so make sure you keep track of that. So yeah, this is definitely easier to walk uh, in the sand than Valley of Fire because the Valley of Fire is very thin sand, fine sand. Kind of like when we're going up to go sledding, it was like that. It was yeah. fine. But here, it's all dense. It's all packed down. So it's very easy to walk. But what a crazy view. Look at how cool this is. I mean, you can walk forever here, I feel like. I mean, I see somebody like way down there. They're having some fun. It's so weird, like you could really hear what everybody's saying. Yeah, it echoes a lot. Yeah, the echo here is unreal. It's like, even when I was talking in a low voice, you could still hear me like yeah. far away. a little bit <laughs> um, not even that far but you like stay away from you can have your own space anywhere around here really yeah there's a lot of space and it's all the same scenery so mm -hmm. you know no one's fighting for the one little spot that's unique it's mm -hmm. all the same so i think that's why it's easy to spread out and really enjoy the views go sledding mm -hmm. we see kids just like tumbling down yeah <laughs> it's a lot of fun for the kids like yeah. i don't think i'll be tumbling down anything but it was fun you know definitely sledding down i really like it here and the weather is it's a little hot right now but the, the breeze is coming right now and it feels so good it's actually perfect weather yeah i think this is a perfect time to go mm -hmm. i don't know if we got lucky with the weather though if it's normally a little bit cooler than this this yeah, time of year sure. yeah. um but i think it's usually like this for like the thanksgiving yeah. november time so I would say like this is a great time to come to White Sands. Yeah, it's perfect. And then just bring like a one, you know one coat with you because mm -hmm. we're not even wearing a coat and we feel great. <laughs> so great. We're gonna take a break, go eat lunch, lunch. in town by our hotel, and then uh, we're gonna come back maybe like a couple hours before sunset to take more photos. Yeah. And um, hopefully yeah. see a great sunset. I know. Fingers crossed. I would mm. love to see an amazing sunset, especially here. Yeah. We went back into town and to. Alamogordo near our hotel and we got some food. Candy got some McDonald's, I got some KFC. We just figured fast food would be the most convenient and most fast. Sunset is around, I think a little after five and it's 4.13 right now and we'll be back at the park in nine minutes. So I think we'll make it for the sunset and hopefully we'll see the sunset, but I'm starting to see clouds. So hopefully that's not the case, but we'll see. We're going back anyway. A lot more cars now here. They're just parked on the side. Yeah, now that we're back at uh, sunset time, there's a lot more people out. Way more than earlier today. Okay, so not too many cars at the Al Alkali Flat Trail parking area. And this is where we wanted to come back to, to take some pictures and watch the sunset. Are you ready, Miss Kuma? I'm gonna go out again, okay? Yeah. I got VIP parking, girl. Nice. We got VIP parking <laughs> right up front. And we're both wearing sneakers now. Yes. Because the uh, boots were kind of brutal. <laughs> oh, look at this nice light. Ooh, I do love sunsets. Oh, man, there's like nobody here. It's like kind of all to ourselves right now. Like nobody. 
I mean, there's some people. I see like people out there, but there's maybe another couple out there. Okay, so obviously it's dark right now, but we did it. We made it for the sunset. Um, we just had to do it. It wasn't like a spectacular sunset like we've seen at other places, but I think it was cloudy in some places. So we probably like missed the prime time maybe or the clouds were covering it. But it was still beautiful. We still saw the golden light, like the pretty um, pink colors. Kuma is freaking out because <laughs> there's like lights in the distance because people have lights on to see where they're going in the dark. But yeah, the park actually closes at six, um, it's hour after sunset. So everybody's making their way back out now. But um, yeah, it was a great time here. Really loved White Sands, super small park, easy to navigate, lots of photo opportunities, lots of fun setting, and it's dog friendly. Yes, and it does get cooler during sunset, so we wore yeah. jackets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it did get cooler. Yeah. Daytime was pretty hot, but nighttime you will probably need a jacket or something. Yeah, so. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.